Hello! So tonight I have a L3 haul to share. This is from her most recent RTS. Um, I didn't do as good with this one as I hoped. I do have a large box. But I think what ended up happening is in this RTS she released her overstock presale from September I want to say. So I did end up getting a few things from her overstock presale. I think some, oh no, just one small scoop, um, one Betty Loaf, and a few of her brittle bags I wanted to check out. So I do have a few things from her presale overstock. Um, but the majority of this is from her October 1st RTS. So I placed my order on October 1st. It shipped on October 6th and I got it today, October 12th. She did put on her Facebook, I took a screenshot. She did uh, preface that um, the RTSs were taking just a little longer to ship because they were in the process of moving their like production area. Um, but it was still well within the tax and she said that. And I didn't even really notice. Usually my RTS orders ship, so typically they're Fridays. My RTS um, order typically ships out that following like Tuesday, but it shipped out Wednesday. So it was like, I wouldn't have even noticed if she hadn't um, written anything on Facebook. I still, I still feel like it came really quick. So let me cut it open. Um, I feel like quantity wise, it's not as much as I usually have, which is good. But um, size wise, it's still like a large box. And I feel like price-wise, it still wasn't any cheaper because I ended up getting a few more loaves than I typically do. Um, so let's open this. Um, also, you guys, I will put a screenshot. Um, she just posted today. There's not going to be an RTS this coming Friday. But because they did move, she has lots of... Um, lots of product that they don't want to move from one place to another so she said that she's gonna have a really big sale she didn't mention like it like what it's gonna be like if it's gonna be a percentage off she just said that they're having a huge sale starting thursday at 10 a.m pacific going through sunday um all 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 items all wax candles bath and body like i said i'll put up her facebook post in the video so you guys can see but so this is my plan. I plan to order from the sale and then not order from her next, you know, whenever that RTS is. Maybe that's going to be in like two weeks or something. Um, so that's my plan. I'll order from the sale, not from RTS, just because I'm ordering from a couple other things coming up. I know I want to order from the Rose Girls pre-sale. Um, what else? I don't know. There's other vendors I want to check out. So I think that's that's my plan. Let's see if that happens. Um, so here's what it looks like. All packaged up. I'm gonna put some of these packing peanuts in my trash can. Um, here's my quote, when things go wrong, don't go with them. Also, sorry if it's a little bit darker. I do have to have just like my, my lights on. It's only 6.30 now, but the days are, are getting shorter already. Um, I love fall, but I don't really, I won't really get a chance to film in the natural daylight anymore. So ho hopefully it's all right. Um, plus my mail doesn't get delivered till later. It got delivered at like five, but, um, I also had a few errands. I had to go to like the DMV today after work. So filming a little later than I would have liked, but here we are. Oh, oops, almost threw this away. Here's the candy I got. Zots in watermelon. Um, so yum. I I only have ever had that from um, one or two other times from her box, and I think it like fizzes up. It's it's interesting. Okay, let's do my sample bag because it's right on top. And if I find like scent um, scent descriptions online, I'll put them in the video. So the first one is pumpkin pecan waffles kolaches. I'm so excited. I love her pumpkin pecan waffles blend. I um, I actually just today got called up for my customs for L3. 
So I need to figure out what I want to do with that. But I think I'm going to definitely do at least one or two pumpkin pecan waffles blends because I realize I really like pumpkin pecan waffles. This is so good. I don't think I get much kolaches. I definitely get the pumpkin pecan waffles though. Um, kolaches is supposed to be like a buttery flaky pastry, I think. The next one is, ooh, another one. Pumpkin pecan waffles cappuccino brulee. So I'm excited for this. I think this is mislabeled. Kind of smells like butter mints. That is so interesting. Unless, sometimes this is always a theory, if it smells a little off, I always wonder did they pour it right after pouring like something else in that same like mold? Um, but I kind of just get butter mints which I love butter mints. Um, I'll smell that again later. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe I'm making it up. The next one is banana bread. Today is October 3rd. I'm interested to try her banana bread. I'm a little scared of banana bread or like banana scents. I smell both evenly, the, to the today is October 3rd and banana bread. It's okay. But I'm not a huge Today is October 3rd fan, which I know it's like a super popular one, but I'm just not a huge fan of it. Um, and I'm also not a huge fan of banana, but um, that one's all right. All right, so I did get a spoon because I got a few scoopables, just a few though. Um, what should we go over first? Maybe I'll do... I'll do the scoopables because I see them right at the top and I only got three. So the first one is a small scoop and this is from her pre-sale overstock. And this is called Escape Room. Peppermint whipped cream sugar cookie royale. I just, it's a mint bakery. I like it. I think this is one that I need to like scrape off the top to get like the true scent because it's really light, really light, but that's probably because I'm not, you know, rubbing my finger in it. But I do smell a little bit of peppermint, just a little bit, but maybe the whipped cream is like making it, you know, gentler. And then the sugar cookie royale, I don't really smell right now on cold, but these really come alive when you warm them. So um, the next one I got is pumpkin pecan waffles sugar cookie royale. Oh, so good. Again, this one is very pumpkin pecan waffles heavy, at least right now. I think sugar cookie royale will be a good mix. I actually forgot I got this. I was like creating a blend in my head and it was almost exactly like this, but I was going to add zucchini bread with it, which I think I'll still do. So I think I'll do pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie royale, and zucchini bread. But anyway, I like it. I love pumpkin pecan waffles. Did I? Oh, yeah. And then the last one I got is vanilla balsam. I thought this would be a great um, Christmas winter scent. Oh, it's so good. It does smell like a Christmas tree. You definitely get that balsam right away. I don't get vanilla, but I think it's just probably calming down the balsam. So it's not like boom in your face Christmas tree. This will be a great, great Christmas scent or holiday scent. I love that. I'm so glad I got that. Okay, the next things I'll do because they're right at the top as well is these um, overstock. Oh, oh yeah. Well, I'll do this because I just grabbed it. I got a um, hundred of her six by nine um, bags, which are her loaf bags, her basic Betty loaf bags, because I got this um, with the idea of number one, I don't have any of these bag sizes. So if any of my loaves that I chop end up like having like big uh, holes in the bags or anything like that, I wanted to have extras like three bag or whatever, or double bag if I want to do that. Um, but also I'm like debating whether or not let me know your guys' thoughts if you do this. Um, I'm debating whether or not to rebag all of my bakery bag items into like the pla the plastic um, 
into the plastic bags. I'm not sure. I don't know. Do you guys find like throw or like longevity to have issues like with the bakery bags or is it just like storage purposes? Cause I know bakery bags aren't super convenient to store. I don't know. I haven't decided, but I got the hundred pack just in case I wanted to rebag. Cause I have a ton of southbound bakery bags. So I wanted to get the hundred pack in case I do end up doing that. So anyway, let's go on to bakery bags. So these are, these are new. I've never seen her do these, but I've only been purchasing from her since like June. So maybe, maybe she's done this before. So she called these brittle bags. These were $8.70 each and they're approximately six ounces. I'm pretty sure she mislabeled this because it says 2.8 to 3 ounces on on the um, label. Here, I'll show you guys. Can you see that down here? I know it's small and crinkly. Hopefully you can. But I don't think that's right. But you know what? Maybe at the end of this video, I'll do a little weighing portion like I did in my um, Lured Apothecary Advent video um, because I have the, the food scale. So yeah, maybe we'll do that at the end. So um, I'm going off of the, the weight that she had on the website though, just because price-wise, if these are $8.70, I'd be shocked if it was only three ounces of wax. So anyway, this one's called Traps, Golden Grams, Toasted Mallow, Pumpkin Pie, and Whipped Cream. Sounds really good. It's definitely a spicy pumpkin. Let's see, here's like a piece of the brittle. I like brittle, I think it's fun. It's almost reminding me of like her Sleepy Hollow. It was like so spicy. Um, is her pumpkin pie spicy? Maybe it is because it doesn't say sweet pumpkin pie. I'm maybe getting a little bit of the golden grams and the pumpkin pie. Not sure about the toasted mall or the whipped cream. This is good. Spicier than I was expecting. So that one is Traps. The next one is Telekinesis, Bakery Bomb, White Elephant Exchange, Sugared Shortbread. I wonder if this is going to be, um, you know, bready or pretzel -y. I know her Bakery Bomb, I think, has a bread pretzel note. Oh, this one's actually not, I was expecting it to be more bready than it is. So here's a brittle chunk, actually two, I think. Um, I don't know though, it doesn't seem like you get very many brittle pieces. Maybe. I don't know, see? Maybe that is... I don't know. It doesn't really seem like it's six ounces. Well, we'll see at the end. This one is good. I'm surprised at, um, you know, I was expecting it to be more bread-like. But I'm actually um, happy it's not. I think the White Elephant Exchange and Sugared Shortbread maybe is coming out more. This is good. I smelled it more like initially when I first opened it and the more the bag is open, the more it seems like it's a little bit light. But you know what? If this was from a pre-sale, it probably is technically good to go, but I don't know. Maybe I'll let this cure. I know the White Elephant Exchange sometimes can use a little bit more cure time. And then the last one I got is Window, Pumpkin Pie Salted Caramel Lattes Sugar Milk. So there's that pumpkin pie again. So let's see if this one's spicy. It does have that spicy pumpkin pie note, but to me actually the caramel latte is coming out a little bit more. Salted caramel latte and pumpkin pie I think is what I'm getting. Maybe some of that sugar milk. The sugar milk doesn't bother me. I know some people don't like kind of the milky, creamy scents. It's not It's not too bad for me, the, the sugar milk. But yeah, it's kind of a spicy pumpkin and the coffee, the latte scent. So those were my 
pre-sale overstock brittle bags. The next thing, I just got one of these. This is um, a bougie bar. Um, this has to be from a few RTSs ago. She didn't do brittle bars this last one. Oh, I'm sorry, bougie bars. So these are approximately 3.25 ounces um, for $3.50. Oh, this was my sample, right? Yeah. So I already got this, but I really liked it. The sample was pumpkin pecan waffles heavy. Yeah, definitely pumpkin pecan waffles heavy. Look at how pretty this is. I didn't think I liked her bougie bars at first because I actually got a ton, um, a ton of bougie bars a while back. But I realized I think it's because I got a ton of Cider Lane scented bougie bars and I'm not a huge fan of Cider Lane. For whatever reason, I was thinking too that they were a little bit light when I was warming them. But I think they just needed cure time because they've actually been really great. They're so pretty and um, when you melt these down, these actually have the like mica glitter in them so it's really pretty so i like that one um there's one thing i'm gonna save till the end let me do my loaves i got five so let me find my pre-sale overstock one first okay so this one is from the pre-sale overstock this is morgue K dye melts, Danish butter cookies, cotton candy, and puppy cakes. I just love the 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 mint with the bakery note. This is so good. The butter mint definitely comes out. Oh wait, sorry, not butter mint. K dye melts. I think actually, I think that is butter mint, peppermint, cupcakes at Tiffany's maybe. I totally get like the pepperminty buttermint smell. Peppermint buttermint plus bakery. I don't know if I like would pinpoint that it's Danish butter cookies or cotton candy or, or cuppy cakes, but it's peppermint bakery. Yummy. I like it. And let me tell you, there were thing more things that I wanted on my list, but I tried tried being good I I don't know if I was good or not but I tried cutting down my list as much as I could this next one is called Christmas trees cinnamon sticks and it says smells like Christmas I'm really excited I really like the cinnamon sticks scent so I, I'm hoping this is a good Christmas scent. oh it's so good I love it I love it a lot. You definitely get the, the Christmas tree note and you definitely get the cinnamon sticks. To me, it's even, but to other people, I feel like some people might think it's cinnamon stick heavy, but I like the smell of cinnamon sticks. It's like, so I'll say this, it's cinnamon sticks right away. That's what hits your nose first. But the more you smell, the deeper you smell, you do get that Christmas tree note. I really like it. It's funny it says cinnamon sticks. It leans a little bit more like red hot candies to me. But I like it. I do like it a lot. I'm glad to have it in a loaf. I have a lot of loaves. I really need to start using them. Um, the next one I have is Basic Witch. Vanilla bean, pumpkin spice, pumpkin pecan waffles. So I love pumpkin pecan waffles. Pumpkin spice, now I'm coming to realize that it is a spicy... Oh wait... No, that was her pumpkin pie. Okay, well, we'll see. Hopefully it's not like too dark. I'm hoping the camera's still like focusing all right. So good. To me, it's pumpkin pecan waffles heavy and I feel like whenever pumpkin pecan waffles is in a mix, usually that's the predominant note. I think I'm getting a little bit of pumpkin spice but definitely pumpkin pecan waffle heavy. I like it though. The next one I got is K-Dye Melt Cookie Crack. So I know 
I know I shouldn't have gotten, I was, I was really trying to debate between K-Dye Melts Cookie Crack and more. Do I need both? Can I get one or the other? But there were other loaves that I ended up cutting off my list. So I'm like, you know what? Just get it. I really like the, I really love peppermint and buttermint. Those are my ultimate favorite mint scents. So I was like, I'm going to love it. And if I'm going to get something that I know I, I'm going to love, I, I'll get it in a loaf. So peppermint buttermint cupcakes at Tiffany's. So that is what K-Dye Melts is. And then cookie crack is pink frosted animal cookies, sugar cookie dough, and whipped cream. So good. Right off the bat, it does smell similar to the, to the morgue scent. But I think this one smells just a tad bit stronger on the peppermint maybe. Yeah, this one's a little bit more nose clearing than the morgue one was. But again, to me, it's like a peppermint bakery. I don't, I don't particularly pinpoint the cookie crack scent notes, but it's really good. And then last loaf is zucchini bread sugar cookie royale. Oh, that was another one I was gonna like make as a custom. Well, I'm glad I I opened this box before sending in my customs list. Um, so this is also really similar because I was gonna do pumpkin pecan waffles sugar cookie and then I was gonna do or I was gonna do pumpkin pecan waffles sugar cookie royale and zucchini bread but now should I even do that because I have pumpkin pecan waffles sugar co sugar cookie royale in a scoop and I just got zucchini bread and sugar cookie cookie royale in a loaf I'll have to think about that oh this is so good to me, it's a little bit stronger on the zucchini bread, but I do get the sugar cookie royale. It's definitely bringing it a little extra sweetness, a little extra buttery sweetness because sugar cookie royale, I think is like a baked buttery cookie goodness scent. Yeah, I think I smell them both. I really like this blend. I don't know. I'll probably still end up doing that pumpkin pecan waffle sugar cookie royale zucchini bread mix. I don't know. I'll think about it. Maybe I'll like sleep on my my uh, customs list overnight, then decide in the morning if it's still what I want to do. Then let's just finish it up with, I got a few of her pumpkin and leaves and a few of her jack-o'-lanterns. So let me start with my pumpkin and leaves because I only got two of those. So the first one is called Sugar Cookie Royale and Espresso. This is good. I mean, I kind of do think it's even with the Sugar Cookie Royale and Espresso, but the Espresso isn't like super strong. Like if you want a powerhouse coffee scent, it's not like overly coffee. It doesn't like hit you in the face coffee. I guess I would probably say maybe the bakery is a little bit more of a predominant note over the Espresso, but it's good. I actually think I got pretty much all coffee scents in these shapes. The next one is Espresso, Here's Jenny, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Pretzel, and Bakery Bomb. So I wonder if this one's gonna be a little bit like on the bready side. It is, but it's good. I feel like that Espresso is a really good blend with this stuff. Um, also, I think the Pumpkin Pecan Waffle is definitely adding sweetness to the Pretzel and Bakery Bomb. I think it's espresso, pumpkin pecan waffles, and maybe the bakery bomb I'm smelling. It's not overly pretzely to me. Then I got four, yes, four jack-o'-lanterns. Um, oh, sorry. The pumpkin and leaves are $3.95, and they're between 2.8 and 3.3 ounces. Also, I'll list all this information in my description box, too. And then the jack-o'-lanterns, which I'm about to show you, are $3.75, and they weigh on average 2.85 to 3 ounces. We'll weigh some of everything for fun. This one is Coffee House Sugar Cookie Royale and Danish Butter Cookies. I think I'll love this. It's really good. It, Coffee scents always somewhat come off as more of a caramel coffee note, but maybe that's like the butter cookies. I feel like butter, 
buttery caramel. Like whenever there's a caramel note, I do get kind of a buttery scent. And the sugar cookie royale with the butter. Um, it's good. Again, bakery heavy, not coffee forward. So if you want like the coffee to really shine, it's not really going to be shining in this one, at least not on cold. It's definitely more of the cookie notes. The next one is Espresso Birthday Cake Sugar Cookie. I know I got so many similar ones, but when they're these tiny shapes and they're only like $3, or I guess almost $4, I'm kind of like, eh, whatever. Because really I'll cut this up and use this all at once. Um, so that's why I'm kind of like, well, I don't mind getting so many similar coffee ones in the smaller shapes. This one is a bit stronger on the coffee actually. To me, I guess I would think espresso and maybe the sugar cookie. I'm not sure if I get like birthday cake, but it might just be a bakery note plus the coffee. I don't know why this coffee smells so much stronger than the other coffees. Maybe, I don't know. But it did smell deeper to me. Deeper coffee, I smelled that right away. Like that. The next one is coffee bean, butter, brickle, zucchini bread, and vanilla bean noel. Is that focused? Hopefully. Mmm, this is good. Definitely a buttery scent because of the butter brickle. I do like the deeper I smell, get that zucchini bread. Um Coffee bean just adds like a richness to a blend, but it's not like, like I'm saying, it's not like bam in your, in your face coffee. I can tell there's a coffee note in it. It's just not really strong. But I would probably say the coffee bean, butter brickle, and zucchini bread is what I'm smelling the most. And then my last pumpkin, pumpkin cream cheese frosting espresso. For some reason, I feel like this one's in a smaller bag. Yeah, it is. I wonder why this one's in like a lot, a lot smaller bag, which is fine. It fits. It's just easier when you end up cutting them up when they're in a little, little bit bigger of a bag, but it's fine. Pumpkin cream cheese frosting espresso. I think her pumpkin is spicy. It smells spicy to me. Um... To me, it smells more like the pumpkin cream cheese frosting. Like, I don't really like, maybe there's a little deepness, richness in the background that's the espresso, but if I didn't know there was espresso in it, I don't know if I'd pinpoint that. But definitely right away is like a spicy pumpkin scent. So that's everything I got. I feel like it was pretty good. Like quantity wise, it's where I wanna be but price-wise, it's still a little bit higher than I wanted to spend. I will go over the last item that I got that's non-wax, which is a body mist. During this RTS, everything was... All of the um, B Lux essentials, um, basically her bath and body, all of that was on sale. I can't remember what it was, like 25% off or 30% off? Um... I've had her um, body mists and body oils before, and I really, I enjoy them. It's hard to see in the light right now, but I'll have to look when it's a sunnier day or when it's daytime. But I have a body mist and I can tell that there's like a layer of oil at the top. So I always give it a shake before I spritz myself. Um, I'm assuming that'll be the case with this one too. Oh, this smells really good. This is Snooze Button. I know Snooze Button is really popular. I love it. It's like a lavender peppermint. Here, let me look it up. I know I have it written down. Snooze Button. It was like one of the first things I got. Snooze Button is sweet lavender, vanilla bean, Noel, and butter mints definitely get the butter mints and the lavender. I'm gonna, I saved this to the end so I can spray the room and I didn't want it to like mess with my nose. So 
so good. Actually, when I spray it, like when I smelled it in the bottle, I do get that buttermint um, scent. But when I sprayed it in the room, I get, I get more lavender. This is good. I like it. This is really good. Very calming, a great like nighttime spritz or maybe like right after you get out of the shower. I don't really use like body mists or perfumes after I shower, but I do use scented lotion. So it's probably not too different. Or if you wanna like spritz like your, your bed sheet maybe, I feel like that would be really calming and nice. I really like it. I'm also debating whether or not, cause in the pre-order you can get some Bath & Body products, but yeah, I'm debating getting some of those. But um, anyway, that was my haul. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna cut to myself like weighing a few items, but if you don't, you know, if you wanna skip that, you know, thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you in my next video. Um, if you wanna stick around for some weighing that'll be um that'll be next all right you guys i got the food scale out hi mochi hi mochi <laughs> all right so let me turn it on i apologize for the light glare i'm gonna try to keep my phone over here but okay so it's already um zeroed out um, what should we do? Let's do a bakery bag. I'll just do all three because I got three of them. And she prefaced that these were going to be, let me get my laptop. So this is supposed to be six ounces. And yeah, so that is 6.5 ounces. So her, um, her label, this must have been for something else. Like, um, actually that looks like it's supposed to be the pumpkin, right? The pumpkin, I think, is supposed to be the 2.8 to, th to 3 ounces, so. But anyway, it is 6 over 6, so that's exactly what it should be. 6.3. And then my telekinesis, 6.3. So yeah, they're actually perfect, right on weight. I don't know why I thought they felt light, but anyway. Um, here's a bougie bar. 3.5 so that's definitely like right on weight it's supposed to be around 3.25 and then just for fun we'll just do like a pumpkin here's a or that's a jack-o-lantern so her jack-o-lantern she said should be around 2.85 to 3 ounces so that one's actually a little bit heavier here's another jack-o-lantern that one's 3.1 so that's pretty much right on another jack-o-lantern 3.1 so yeah those ones are good this is just for fun out of like curiosity if anyone's curious um pumpkin and leaves are supposed to be 2.8 to 3.3 .3 ounces 3.2 3.3 i've actually found they're really not too far off from the actual jack-o-lanterns um and then here's a pumpkin 3.6 oh that one's actually pretty heavy i guess okay um, is there anything else I need to weigh? Um, I don't feel like loaves are super fair to weigh because of the tin it's in. I mean, I doubt the tin weighs a lot, right? I'll weigh wonders for fun. 14.4. Her basic Betty loaves are supposed to be 12 ounces to 15 ounces. So that's right, right in the weight it should be. Um... I don't really think there's anything else to weigh just because, um, again, like Scoops definitely has more plastic material. So I don't really feel like these are super like fair to weigh unless I wear weighed a plastic container when I'm finished with the scoop. But I don't know. We can do it for fun. Yeah, it says 8.5, but that's just, you know, the plastic bag weight is like, you know, probably nothing. And the tin weight is probably pretty light. But this plastic container, I'm sure, weighs quite a bit, so I don't think that's fair to weigh this. But anyway, hopefully that was kind of fun for you guys. Hi, so I just wanted to finish out the haul instead of just leaving it at kind of a random like clip of me weighing the wax at the end. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know if you picked up anything from this most recent RTS 
or anything from the overstock pre-sale or are you planning to pick up anything from her moving sale i know i feel like i want to pick up a few things but um yeah and mochi and i are wearing matching pajamas i meant to say something at the beginning but i got like too excited <laughs> too excited and opened my mail right away but um yeah these are from target in just a really random like place i think it was in like the the women's pajama area but it was for the whole family like there were pajamas matching pajamas for kids adults and dogs so yeah we found them we were like oh that's perfect fall is my favorite season so i had to get some spooky halloween pajamas so yeah anyway um thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video